factorization. For these first examples, we just want to list all of the factors of the number. So for 30, we're going to start. We know that 1 times 30 is going to give me 30. We also know that since it's even, we can divide by 2. 30 divided by 2 is 15, so 2 times 15 is 30. Um, 3, 30 divided by 3 is 10. Uh, 4 does not go in evenly because 4 times 7 is 28, so that's not going to work. And 5, 5 times 6 is 30. So that means that all of our factors, and then if we keep going, then we start going back the other direction. So we are done there. So our list of factors would be 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, and 30. And the next one, 74. Well, 74, we know we have 1 times 74, so those are both factors. Divide by 2, we get 37. And now we want to look to see if there's anything else bigger than that. And if you go through all the factors, you realize that there aren't any more. There, the, so the only factors of 74 are 1, 2, 37, and 74. To do this, you just take all the numbers. If you're, if you're not sure, take all the smaller numbers up through 74 and try to divide 74 into them. You Keep in mind, you only have to go to 37, though. So that's one way to do it if you don't know some factors. And the last one is 75. So I know that 1 times 75 is 75. I also know that if I think of uh, dollars, if I divide one dollar into uh, four quarters, uh, three of them is 75. So three times 25 is 75. And it's divisible by five. So five times 15. And then if I continue going, I will find that those are the only factors. So one, three, five, 15, 25, and 75 are the only factors of 75. For these next examples, we're going to write the prime factorization of the number. So 48. It's easiest to do a tree diagram, so I know I can break 2. So 2 times 24 gives me 48. And then I can break 24 into 2 and 12. <clears throat> and then 12 into 2 and 6. And 6 into 2 and 3. So now I have all prime numbers, so my final answer would be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. And that would be my prime factorization, or it could be written as 2 to the power of 4 times 3. And the next one, 47. 47 is actually a prime number, so it cannot be broken up into anything. So the prime factorization is technically just 1 times 47, or just 47, because it is a prime number already. And the last one, 33, breaks into 3 and 11, and then these are both prime numbers. So that means the prime factorization is going to be 3 times 11, and that is your final answer. So those are your notes on factorization. Go through the practice problems. Make sure you can factor and you can find prime numbers and do prime factorization. And then you should be ready for the quiz over this material.